Y'all get ready? Yes, you get ready. Shout out to all my tea sippers out there. We are gathered here today to sip some tea, honey. So make sure you guys have your tea cups ready because you already know this tea is what? Piping hot. All right, you guys. So as you all know, Cardi B's new video dropped today. She has been hyping up the video for weeks. She dropped the single a while ago. It's called Press. So the new video is out. Um, I watched it. I'm definitely feeling it. Definitely has like a really big artistic vibe to it. And she's definitely using everything that she's going through in the court system. It's like she put everything that she's going through with her pending court case into the video. And I definitely love the artistic feel of it. So the whole situation is crazy. It's nuts. If you guys don't know, the same day that the video for press dropped, about a few hours ago, the district attorney also decided to lay out the entire case. Page six is now reporting on it. So I find it very, very interesting that the day that she drops her video, here comes the details of the case. I'm gonna go ahead and break everything down to you guys. Y'all go ahead and check this out. So page six is reporting this. They're saying that Cardi B commissioned an assault against a woman she thought was sleeping with her husband Offset. Planning the wild 2018 Queen Strip Club brawl on social media and discussing pain and two people for the job. New court documents allege that the Bronx-born rapper and co-defendant Tawana Jackson Morrell and Jeffrey Bush used social media to coordinate the time, date, and location of the brawl with Jackson and Morrell. The I Like It star also discussed money being exchanged for the beatdown, according to the Queen's grand jury indictment. According to the Queen's District Attorney Office, Cardi's cronies ordered a drink from Rachel Watley shortly after 3 a.m. on August 15th before Jackson Morrell grabbed the woman's hair and slammed her head into the bar and punched her while Bush recorded the attack. The rapper returned with the duo on August 27th when they turned their iry to the older sister, Sarah Jackson Morrell, allegedly threw a cocktail in her face while the rapper and Bush also hurled bottles of booze at her. The indictment alleges. Acting Queens District Attorney John Ryan calls the attacks premeditated. The victims allegedly had glass bottles hurled at them, alcoholic drinks thrown in their face, and one woman's head was slammed into the bar, he said in a statement Tuesday. This kind of violence will not be tolerated in our community. The defendants will be held accountable for their alleged actions. The trio were ultimately charged on 12 count indictments, including attempted assault, harassment, conspiracy, criminal solicitation. Cardi B has pled not guilty to the charges. Then they go on to say the Bodak Yellow rapper, age 26, pled not guilty in a Queens Supreme Court on Tuesday to two felony charges of attempted assault plus additional misdemeanor charges after she allegedly roughed up two bartenders at Angel's Gentlemen's Club in Flushing last August. If convicted, she faces up to four years in prison. Not guilty, Sir Honor, the Bronx performer whose real name is Bacalis Alamazar, told the Queen's Supreme Court Justice Joseph Zayas while nervously fidgeting with her hair and swaying on her heels. The rap royal's lawyer to the scrum awaiting press and fans outside the courtroom calling her a kind human being. I know Cardi on a personal level. I know Cardi as a wife, as a mother, as a daughter, as a sister, attorney Drew Finley said. It will ultimately be a positive outcome in favor of Cardi B, he said. Honey. All right, so you guys just heard the indictments, what they're laying out against Cardi B. So these are really serious charges, and especially if they're saying that they have evidence. And one thing is once it goes to the grand jury, they're going to comb through everything with a fine-tooth comb. So a lot of people are saying that Cardi B should have just pled guilty to the misdemeanor. You know what I'm saying? Cut these bitches a $150,000 check and called it a day. But she feels like she had nothing to do with it. That's why she pled not guilty. They're saying that if she is found guilty by the grand jury, she could face up to four years in prison, which is really scary, being that, you know, she does not have a criminal record. She's never been arrested before. She's always managed to stay out of trouble. And then on top of that, she's a mother. She has a little daughter who wants to be away from their child. So I don't know what the outcome of this will be. This is definitely really scary. And one thing with the grand jury is that before they put out indictments to move forward, there has to be some type of evidence. So I really hope that these people were a lot smarter to not talk on social media, to not DM each other, you know, certain things because whatever you talk about on social media can be used against you in a court of law, which seems to be what they're trying to say in this case. So 
All we can do is just fall back, watch how everything plays out. Hopefully she's able to fight this and come out on top. You know what I'm saying? But all we can do is just sit back and watch. So anyways, y'all, let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. Let me know your thoughts on this entire disturbing situation concerning the DA now laying out all the information with the indictment against Cardi B and then also her new video press coming out the same day. Um, how do you guys feel about the video? Are you guys feeling it? Are you guys not feeling it? So let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. All right. Deuces.